the Bitcoin market cap just hit $1 trillion once again. And on top of that, we have busted through 51K plus the entire crypto market cap is now sitting at above $2 trillion. And I'm pretty confident that in my video yesterday, a few days ago, that I actually said to you guys that we're pretty much getting ready to break through that $2 trillion level. Well, let's delve into this video and see exactly what is going on in the markets out there. Hope you guys are super well. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara DeCass. Thank you for being here with me today, you blessed, benevolent, and beautiful souls. Yes, I'm wearing a hat, a hat, red pants, white shirt, chocolate flowing all around. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you, blessed and beautiful souls. And what a and what an incredible gift to get on Valentine's with a couple green candles in Bitcoin. Now, today the Morales money bubbles. We have lots and lots of green in the market here today. Uh, you can see tiles pumping again, stacks, everything's pumping today, except for a very, very, very few small that are just down ever so slightly. Not even that much, guys. So lots going on out there. And as you can see here, there's the two trillion, two trillion slash 15 billion, two trillion and 15 billion dollar market cap in crypto. Currently at 2.7% up, the trading volume has now moved to $106 billion in the last 24 hours, guys. Magnificent, okay? You can see we have huge coins popping and pumping here. I only know when Wi-Fi map 10 set, to, I don't know these others. If you guys do, well, I hope you're enjoying them. And there is Bitcoin the king of all cryptos, the big daddy, the daddy that takes you places you could never have imagined. Okay, currently sitting at $51,641. Ethereum and Bitcoin are literally inhaling this entire market cap right now. Solana's up 20, 21% in the last couple of week, uh, days as well, up at $116. Now, uh, Bitcoin is, uh, Ethereum is at $2,700. 52 and BNB is at triple three, XRP is at 53 cents, Cardano at 57 cents, and Cardano is up 20% for the week so far. And Avalanche is up 20.6% for the week so far at 41.53, Chainlink up at $20.18, up 9.8%. Guys, Avalanche, Chainlink, Cardano, no financial advice, but I would absolutely be stacking these until the cows come home which is probably not going to happen for me right now because i don't live on a farm so in other words i'm going to be stacking as much as i possibly can for as long as i possibly can before the pump mentals on these coins just get a little bit too ridiculous now i am holding a lot of my bags that i have been holding for a very very long time because we are literally only just getting started in this bull cycle however i do want to proceed with caution because yesterday for the first time, we literally went into extreme greed. Uh, and today we down a little bit on that extreme greed, but my goodness me, extreme greed went up to 79. Wow. We have absolutely phenomenal things happening for us here in the crypto market. Now, I'm gonna show you one coin that I have spoken about on my channel later on in the video that I have previously spoken about that has pumped massively 3x okay already okay all right let's have a look at some of the cool articles out there i'm not going to look at the news today i don't have much time i've been in training all day with the business that i am in uh that we have just done an acquisition on i can now finally talk about it because it has happened we have shake uh we have shaken our hands signed uh, sign the agreements, etc., on this business, and essentially it is a medical cannabis uh, business. So we now get to work hand in hand with the doctors that I've been working with over the years, and we now get to prescribe our cannabis legally in South Africa. So if you want to know more about that, hit me up in the comments down below. If you're in South Africa and you want some of that, very good stuff. All right, now Bitcoin is ready. 
One long green candle is on the way, and this is according to Bitcoin Archive, and this was about 15 minutes ago that he published this. Uh, this. I think we have a very, very big candle coming soon too, especially considering that BlackRock and Fidelity now own and hold over $10 billion of Bitcoin. Guys, let me just give you some perspective. $10 billion of this number uh, is 1%. 1%. They hold 1% of Bitcoin's market cap. What? Just the two companies on their own? Yes, you heard me right. 1%. Guys, I don't know about you, but I don't want these people to hold in my Bitcoin. I'd rather hold and self-custody my own Bitcoin, pay no fees, and carry on the processes. But I understand this because this is just very similar to what happens in our medical cannabis business. So, um, you know, US inflation came out uh, in hotter than expected yesterday. Gold puked under 2000 and the SPX uh, is back under 5000. Bitcoin smashes 51,000 and Bitcoin don't care about anything. Okay. Bitcoin is a beast. Okay. I love this. 11.33 a.m. I love it. I love seeing numbers, guys. I love seeing the numbers. So Bitcoin is just doing what it's doing, guys. Now, this is from Decode, Decode Jar. Bitcoin is breaking the channel to the upside. The gold channel is not the trend channel. It is the base channel. And I expect price to break it to the upside as wave three progresses. Now, let's look at where this comes from and have a little bit of a squiz, okay? Because Bitcoin update, one to two, one to two, one to one to count, taking a break at the 786 retrace 50K before continuing higher, 786. Da -da 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 -da. Guys, I, I also expected some, somewhat a little bit of a pullback, if not a little bit of a sit here. And according to this, the moment we break through back down this level, essentially is the invalidation level. Now, you can see here, Wave one, wave two, wave three is not quite done yet. Wave three could essentially just take us out. So um, invalidation for this area sits below kind of 43,862. So I like that. I think that's a reasonable call to make there. Some are taking a linear 1.618 extension of wave one from the base of wave two shown in blue. Okay, and pulling it up to there um, and suggesting we have therefore completed wave three, but I disagree. I also disagree because essentially that's wave one, that's wave two, with a bit of a capitulation sideways movement, wave three is on the way to the next part, which is the old time highs all the way up here. We're not that far away from them, just by the way. So not bad and pretty doable now another one from decoder job bitcoin is up 225 percent off the low rising up above all key weekly averages and people are still asking if we're in a bull market yet <laughs> all right check this out bottom 225 percent we literally over here was the confirmation with a strong breakout that we are on the bullish momentum now we are riding the trend lines and we are literally getting up all the way above it could we come back down i don't know but it is a possibility but right now honestly guys we are so bullish and with blackrock and fidelity buying like what i think it's like 500 billion dollars uh, sorry 500 uh nearly 600 million dollars a day guys this isn't gonna stop this is not going to stop and the key indication candle that you should have realized was here. I told you they would wick you out to try and get you out. But look at how the candle pulled right back up above there and continued. Look at this candle. It's telling us that we're going up. We could sit sideways for a little while again soon. It's okay. Let it do what it needs to do. But over a long period of time, Bitcoin will make you money. And if you have been in Bitcoin, and a lot of people say, oh, you can't retire on Bitcoin and all the rest of that. Yeah, I agree with you. But if you took $100,000 and you plunked it in Bitcoin down here, 
Your $100,000 would now be worth $225,000. Okay, just to give you some perspective. So, uh, you know, it's all relative based on the funds that you have available to invest in these assets. Okay, and that's often why you guys are subscribed to my channel. And if you're not, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I share with you crazy coins on the channel that are low caps, just like this, that are ready to make some insane gains for us. Okay, don't miss out on that, guys. Now, going to this chart here, this is from uh, Crypto Cryptolica, your Crypto 2024 roadmap, BTC, da -da -da, uh, total charts, crypto total charts and then okay you can see what's busy happening eth kind of doing something very similar on its way up eth btc be waiting for a little bit of a move uh to the upside on btc btc and altcoin dominance okay we could be on the way and heading down total two and other crypto cap we are literally on the way up so let us go and have a look at our charts first before i show you my trades because i got into a couple more trades um and then also i'm going to show you a couple other charts that you guys should be looking at right now because we are literally at one of the most insanely beautiful times of our life and if you guys are not in this and not here watching this then i don't know how i can help you but i do know how i can help those that haven't yet got themselves into trading and now what i would say is sign up down below using my bybit link will give you a up to thirty thousand dollar deposit bonus and my bitflex link will give you up to eighty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight dollars in bonus that together combined for you just for you is a hundred and twenty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight dollars right there just for you so use my link sign up and let's go get rich together guys now you can see here this invalidated my head and shoulders pattern even so we haven't even done that properly but like i did say to you on my video we might reach some sort of resistance level here at this 53 kind of level okay then i would say that a somewhat a pullback down here might not be unreasonable before we then continue the pattern guys so we could come down we could do that we could also we could also come here and kind of sit sideways and sideways and sideways until this level i think we will not come back down below this forty-eight thousand level now that we have broken up above it that's my personal view what do you guys think do you think we're gonna go below forty-eight thousand again because if we do that will invalidate these patterns and essentially we could then see a drop back down at the very least down here to the 40k level now guys i just want to show you I told you guys to get into a trade here, right? Around this level, somewhere around this level, somewhere around this level. I told you guys to get into a trade. If you had listened to me, if you had used my links down below and signed up with my links without trade financial advice, you guys with a 10x leverage would be up 275% on your money. Okay. That would have been over a how many days period just by the way i just want to show you something i just want to give you some relative comparison okay over 18 days now didn't i just show you didn't i just show you a chart yeah didn't i just show you a chart that literally almost 13 months now it has taken us to get this 225 percent so if you guys hear me out and you listen to me when I do trade, okay, you guys will be able to make yourself some good gains as well. I want you guys to be successful. And that's why I need you guys to subscribe using my link, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and use my links down below so that you guys can also come and make money with me. Because right now, let's go and have a look at the monthly chart on Bitcoin, guys. I just want to show you and give you some sort of relative monthly, monthly candle breaking through, breaking through going absolutely ballistic guys we have literally had now one two three four five we're in the sixth month of consecutive green gains in bitcoin that's kind of reminds me of this reminds me of this reminds me of this so we haven't even hit this parabolic run yet and look at what we're doing we literally are erasing the entire mess that happened here in the bear market from ftx and that whole saga so 
Nice. <sighs> Don't miss out. Because now what I'm about to show you is going to freak you out. Okay. Look at how our ribbons are now on the monthly candle starting to open up. Okay. We are literally going ballistic. Once these open up, we literally have the most insane rallies that we see. Okay. Now, not only that, but we also have the very beautiful Gaussian channel. The Gaussian channel on the monthly has not even gone red once. Okay, cool. Maybe on the weekly it has, but look at where we at on the weekly chart, guys. Literally, we literally once we start busting up, there is no coming down until we hit the ceiling. Um, that people believe, well, okay, it's had enough now, so it's time to retrace. Uh, and essentially, my target is up here at 59, 6, 58 to 60,000, okay? That's my target. Before, I believe we actually hit some sort of pullback and then make a rally up. Now, is this time different? Yes, I think it is different. The reason that it's different is because we do have ETFs now literally with all the buying power, BlackRock, Fidelity, these guys buying tens of billions of dollars worth of crypto and Bitcoin, or Bitcoin actually right now, mostly. Okay, now you can see here, once the yellow line crosses over, I just need to show you on my MVRV score, once the yellow line crosses over, boom, look at that point, that point there where the yellow line crosses over and it's above the Gaussian channel, we literally had a crazy, crazy epic pump. Okay, so from that point up to the top there, 522%. From that point where we're crossing over right now, we haven't even really crossed over. Okay, so maybe give it another week or two. Okay, so I'm even going to just pull it from the current price and I'm going to pull up 522% from that crossover. Guys, there you go. Three, 522%. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. That's $326,000 Bitcoin. Okay. Now, people talk about diminishing returns. I think the cycle is very different. Okay. I think the reason that the cycle is very different is because we're actually seeing crazy moves coming in and inflows coming in from the Bitcoin ETFs, spot ETFs. So, guys, I think $300,000 is quite an achievable target for Bitcoin. If you guys have not yet invested, use my links down below in the comments for you guys. Let's go and check that out. Now, the total cryptocurrency market cap is currently also breaking out of its head and shoulders pattern. Okay. And it, it too is trying to break through its resistance level up here at the $530, $535 billion level. Guys, we are going up. And if you have not yet invested, I can't help you. But what I can say to you is, 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 do you still have time to buy? I'm gonna say yes, but you're buying a little bit late right now, but yes, you can, okay? Now, I just wanna give you an example of one coin that I have previously spoken about on my channel. Look at this. I'll put this channel here for you guys. It kind of retraced from the top back down to the bottom of the channel. And look, we had this massive candle here, and then all of a sudden we are now busting up. This coin, Chirply, just by the way, has officially done 312% in the last kind of two, three weeks. I don't know about you guys, but this coin has a long way to go and it has broken through all these previous highs here, making higher highs. It's now literally in price discovery. This coin is gonna be even more massive, especially because it's part of decentralized social media or DSO. So go check that out using my link down below. Hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far. If you have, you know what to do, please. Really, it helps the algorithm. So share the love and let's go and check out my trades. Now, my Bitcoin trade, where am I? Well, here I am. I'm now officially going to move my stop loss up. Okay, I'm gonna put my stop loss just right here under this box. In fact, I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, so it's not that much of a move, but it gives me a lot more leverage than what I've had before. Okay, so now literally from my buy all the way up there, I'm in profit wildly so 
you can see guys the momentum is we literally are continuing up and nothing is going to stop this right now that is now officially the new trend line that i'm looking at and essentially we should be able to see where this takes us there's a little bit of resistance so i would not be surprised if we kind of sat sideways here um whoops we kind of sat sideways or if we kind of made a little bit of a move down guys really that is a very high possibility it can happen um you know cool if we pull back down to 50k whoop to do i mean we only need 1800 dollars more than that right now so guys that's pretty decent now i have taken some profit on some of my trades my bitcoin trade is now 233 dollars in profit and i'm now 405 percent up on my trade my cardano trade that i took yesterday i put it in yesterday um is now officially up 40 percent and my ai trade i took 50 i took about 45 dollars profit yes oh there 27 dollars plus minus the fee so about 35 dollars profit and i'm still up 33 uh, 330 percent on my trade my avax trade i got into this morning um and i'm up 67 percent on that avax trade i'm probably going to add a little bit more to this because avax is making moves now my link got stopped out the other day and i mean look at look at i actually have to show you this candle guys this made me a little bit upset, but such is life when you are protecting yourself. I didn't lose money. That's the first rule of trading is not to lose money. And the second rule of trading is also not to lose money. Look at rule number one. So makes sense, right? So essentially I had bought down here and then I bought a little bit more up there, but I'd move because my buy entry had moved up a little bit. I actually moved my stop loss to right underneath here. And that's why this candle wicked me out. So such is life. And so it is what they do. So I didn't lose any money. Okay. So I just re-entered because I, I'm a firm believer that we are about to see a $30 chain link very, very soon. That's a $10 move from where we are currently. So I just got in so that I don't miss out. Okay. You can see us attempting to break. Okay. And uh, right now I'm only a little bit down on that track, guys. I am so excited about this because there is a lot more to share with you. So those are my trades. Those are my updates. I hope you've enjoyed the content today. It's been a real pleasure being back with you once again. And I truly appreciate every single last one of you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make some noise for the algorithm because we are seeing YouTube slow the algorithm down in crypto, obviously because there is so much hype going on in crypto. And literally crypto is taking over people's lives. Okay. In a good way. Just by the way making them financially free. So hope you enjoyed the content. Love you all. And we will see you on the next one.